Hello, my name is Nick and together with Lawrence I will explain to you how and why you should put the Oculus Go and Quest in developer mode. We will also briefly go through the pros and cons of doing this. So before you can set up your devices into developer mode, make sure to set your sleep timer correctly. If you haven't done so yet, you can check out our previous video where we explain exactly how you can adjust the sleep timer settings. To enable developer mode, you need the Oculus app on your phone. You cannot put the device into developer mode from within the device itself. So grab your phone and follow the following steps. So the first step is to enable Bluetooth on your phone. After this, open the Oculus app and go to the settings tab. In the settings tab, search for your Oculus Go or Quest Select more settings and toggle on developer mode. If you're asked to create an Oculus organization, you need to go to dashboard.oculus.com, log into your account, and then hit create organization. Here you need to enter your organization name, review the terms, and next step is to accept the terms and create the organization. After this, you can go back to the steps that Nick just laid out to toggle the developer mode on for all of your devices. So now you know how to enable developer mode on your Oculus Go or Quest, there are some pros and cons we should tell you about. The first pro is that you can get the Oculus Go or Quest out of the Enter VR screen with the press of the volume button instead of the controller. Another pro is that you can also sideload apps that are not in the Oculus Store. A con is that it's more difficult to connect your Oculus Go or Quest to a computer. This takes a few more steps. There will be a separate video on how to do this. There will be a link in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned to more VR related stuff. See you next time.